All praises, all praises. Hey, first off, we want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh. Yeah. So we want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shah. Hey, the officer Shalat and the officer Mahal brought it out mighty in the spirit. We're going to keep rolling on with it, right? Uh. All right, so let me get Jeremiah 17, verse 4. Let me get Sirach 17, verse 11, right? So if you don't know who we are here for, we are here for you so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans to let you know that we are the true Jews and Israelites according to the Bible. Right. And that in these last days, we have to repent and we have to come back to the Lord our God. Right. Right? You got a lot of a lot of madness going on in these last days. And our people do not know what's going on. Right? The Lord is literally sending death and destruction throughout this whole earth. Right? You got wildfires going on in California. You got major floods going on in different parts of Europe. Right? I was reading the uh looking at the news earlier, and you got Edomites going crazy all throughout America. Right? In Massachusetts, it was this white boy that was going around stabbing people. Right. Right? Right here in Raleigh, North Carolina, all throughout this week, you had a damn white boy out here shooting at random people. Right. Shooting at random cars and houses. Right. Right? I believe they said his name was uh Andrew Graney, right? Right. Right? Andrew Jackson, what? Andrew Graney, right? The damn white boy out here shooting at random people. Right? But America want to criminalize all people. Right? But the Lord is exposing the damn devil in these last days. Right, right. Right? So you got all type of death and destruction happening on this earth. Right? And what is that showing you? That's showing you that the Most High God is angry with this earth. That's showing you that the Most High God is displeased with the works of men. Right. Right? And it's time for all people to wake up. It's time for you so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans to hearken into the Lord's voice. Wake them up. Because right? we out here dealing with a people that's that's ignorant. We out here dealing with a people that's lost and that don't don't know their heritage. Right? So the Lord sent his servants out here on these streets in these last days to wake up his people, right? So let me get that Jeremiah chapter 17 and verse four, bring it up. The book of Jeremiah chapter 17 and verse four. Bring it out. And thou, even thyself, right. shall, <clears throat> shall discontinue. Shall what? Shall discontinue. For the Lord said in these last days, his chosen people would be discontinued from what? From thine heritage. From thy what? From thy thine heritage. heritage. From thy what? From thine heritage. For the Lord said his chosen people would discontinue from their heritage. Hey, y'all got two minutes for the words of God, family? Hey, bro, y'all got two minutes for the words of God? You see that? Our people are lost sheep. Right. Like, our people don't got time for the Lord. Right. Our people got time to come out here and party. Right. They got time to come out here and get drunk. Right. They got time to come out here and get high. Right. Who got time to hearken to the words of God? Right. Y'all got two minutes, brother? Right? See, our people, they don't got time for the words of life. They got time for death and destruction. Right. They got time to murder and kill each other. They got time to send drugs to each other. Right. They got time to slide down on their ops, their own brother. Right? When we gonna stop and hearken to the words of life? When we gonna stop and hearken to the words of the Most High? Right? Read. Bring that out again from the top. And thou, even thyself, shalt discontinue from thy inheritance. So, our people have been discontinued from their heritage. Because if I ask a so-called black, Hispanic, or Native American, what is their heritage? They don't know. Right. Right? Because our heritage has been stripped away from us. What is our heritage? Right? Is our here to BET? Nope. Our women twerking and shaking their ass? Nope. Our men out here getting drunk? Right? They're a fried chicken and watermelon? Right. Being a drug dealer and a gang beggar? Right? What is our heritage in these last days? Right? What is the heritage that the Most High God is trying to give back to his people in these last days? Wake them up! Right? That's it on that? Alright, uh, keep reading. Thou shalt discontinue from thy inheritance right. that I gave thee. That I what? That I gave thee. So and the Lord gave his people a heritage, right? But our people don't want the heritage right. that God gave them. Our people want the heritage that was given to them by their slave master, right. by their oppressor, right. by, the, by the people that enslaved them, yep. right? The white man the one that told you that you was a gangster. The white man told you that you was nothing but a nigga and a spit, right? right? The white man the one that told you that you less than nothing. 
But we out here to tell our people that they're the greatest people upon the face of the earth. And brother, you said that you was going to come and listen to the words of God, but you're walking away. Right? That goes to show you our people don't love life, they love the ways of death. Right? Right? Bring it up. And I will call thee to serve thine enemies. That's why you niggas serve your enemies. Right? That's why you niggas gotta get up every morning and go to work for your damn slave master. Right. That's why you niggas gotta wake up early in the morning and work for the damn white man. Right? Because the Lord said you disobedient, so he took your heritage away from you, man. Right. And now you serve your damn enemies. Now you serving people that's weaker than you. Yep. Now you serving people that's inferior to you. Yep. Right? Right? And the true service of the Lord, we sick of this. Right. We sick of, of serving these weak ass people. Right? And we trying to rise up the power in these last days, man. Right. right? But our people don't want to hear the words of life, man. Our people too comfortable with being uh, less than nothing and being at the bottom of society in this country. Right. Give me. And I will cause thee to uh -huh. serve thine enemies right. in the land which thou knowest not. Right. And for ye have kindled a fire in mine anger. Our people have kindled a fire in the Lord's anger, man. By doing what? How do we kindle a fire in the Lord's anger? By disobeying him, man. By by uh them voting for these damn presidents that don't give a damn about you. Right. Right? By celebrating these pagan holidays that don't have a damn thing to do about your culture and your heritage. Right. What does Thanksgiving have to do with the so-called Black Spanish and Native Americans? Right. What does Halloween have to do with the so-called Black Spanish and Native Americans? Right? <laughs> when our people go wake the hell up, right? Keep reading. For ye have kindled a fire in my anger, right. which shall burn forever. The Lord said we have kindled a fire in his anger, right? And that's why the Lord stripped us from our heritage. And we all need to give our heritage back to our people, right? So what is our heritage that God stripped away from us? What is this heritage that the Most High God gave to his chosen people, right? We're going to find out. Let me get Deuteronomy 17, verse 15. And bring that out in Sirach 17, verse 11. The book of Sirach, chapter 17, verse 11. Bring it out. Besides this, he gave them knowledge. He gave them what? He gave them knowledge. He gave them what? He gave them knowledge. And the Lord said he gave our people knowledge. Right? But where's our knowledge in these last days? If we had knowledge, we wouldn't be voting for these damn presidents. Right. If we had knowledge, we wouldn't be celebrating Thanksgiving. A day where our people were being murdered. A day when our children was being taken away from us. A day when the so-called white man was raping our women. A day when the so-called white man stole his land from our people. Right. Right? So our people don't have knowledge. If you had knowledge, you wouldn't be selling drugs to your own brother. You wouldn't be murdering and killing your own people. Right? So you niggas need to come over here and get the words of wisdom. You need to come over here and get knowledge and understanding and separate from this folly and this foolishness. Right. Keep reading. Besides this, he gave them knowledge. Right, read. And the law of life. And the what? And the law of life. And the law of life. Hey, sister, how you doing, sister? You got two minutes for the words of God? Not today. Come on, sister. You got to listen to the words of God every day, sister. Two minutes. Right? You see that? Not today. You supposed to hear the words of God every day. Right? right? Because you, you're not guaranteed to make it to see them all. Right. You see that? So read that again from the top. Besides this, he gave them knowledge. That's the problem with our people. Our people think that this is going to last forever. Right? Now, not today. I'm going to be on church on Sunday. Well, you might not make it to see Sunday. Right. You don't see what the hell going on out here? Didn't you just see a damn white boy out here shooting at random people? You, you think that, that he's the only one? Right? Now that Trump back in office, you're going to see these white supremacists get bold again, man. Right. You're going to see these damn white supremacists rise up and start murdering you so-called black Hispanics and Native Americans at a high rate. Get out. Right? So you're not guaranteed to see another day. Right? So it should be in your best interest to come over here and get the words of the Lord before it's too late. Right? We got to get from something. Besides this, he gave them knowledge. Uh -huh. And the law of life. And the what? And the, the law, law of life. The Lord gave us the laws of life. That is our true heritage. Do you read it? And the law of life for a heritage. Wait, what? For a heritage. Wait, what? For a heritage. Read. He made an everlasting covenant with them. See that? So our heritage as so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans is the laws of life, man. That's written in this Bible. Right? 
You see that? So we came out here to give our people back their heritage, which are these laws, statutes, and commandments. Right? So that was it on that. Let me get that Deuteronomy 17 and 15, right? How you doing, buddy? You got two minutes for the words of God? All right, buddy. You see that? So look, the Lord said he gave our people the laws of life for heritage. So we're going to go into the laws of life and see the error of our people. Because the laws of life tell our people that burglary is a sin according to the Bible. Right. But a lot of pe our people don't know that because they destitute of the wisdom of the scriptures. Right. Because right? if our people had the laws of life, they wouldn't be out here voting for Donald Trump. Right. They wouldn't be out here voting for Kamala Harris. Right? So bring that out in Deuteronomy 17 and 15. Right? And Salaki, can you pull up Deuteronomy 17 and 15 in the GNT? All right, so I'm reading it out. Thou shalt in any wise set him king over thee. Right, so the Lord said, Thou shalt in any wise set him king over thee, right? And that king could be a king, right? A ruler, a governor, right? So we see the qualifications of the person that we're supposed to set king over us. We, whom the Lord thy God shall choose. Whom the what? Whom the Lord thy, thy God, God shall choose. The Lord said, if we're going to set somebody to govern over us, to lord over us, it has to be somebody that the Lord chooses, right? Not somebody that you choose, right? So did the Lord, did he choose Donald Trump? No. A well-known racist, right? Don't you know I mean, our people so damn uh, simple, it don't make sense, man. You got so-called blacks and Hispanics out here voting for Donald Trump. Didn't Trump say he wanted to build a wall to keep you so-called Hispanics out of the United States? Right. Why the hell are you voting for him, right? And our people don't even know that this land was originally uh, belonged to the so-called Mexicans, right? And they stole this land from the so-called Mexicans, right? You see that? The land, the uh, state of Texas, the state of California, New Mexico, Arizona, all that land used to belong to the uh, so-called Mexicans. Wake them up! Right? But after the Mexican-American wars, the so-called white man stole that land. Right. And now he's trying to build a wall to keep those people out of their own land. But our people so ignorant that they want to vote for them. Right. Right? How damn simple can you be, man? Right? The Lord said, if you're going to send somebody to be a uh, king over you, it has to be somebody that he chooses. Right. We, one from among thy brethren oh, shall thou set king over thee. Hey, you, hey, you got a minute for the words of God, sister? Yes, yes, preach on, preach on. Preach on, okay. Yes, go ahead, go ahead. Got all right, sister, you got to repent, sister, all right? Oh, yeah. All right. Oh, yeah. John 3 16, what does that mean, sister? Yeah, what is, yes, that is what, is, what is John 3 and 16 mean? You see that? Our people can, they can scream my scriptures, but they can't break them down for us. Right. I'm trying to get the understanding, right? You see that? <laughs> That's madness, right? Bring that. One from among thy brethren. The Lord said, if we set a king over us, it has to be somebody from among our brethren, right? Is Donald Trump from among our brethren? Is Kamala Harris from among our brethren? No. You see that? So why are you so-called black Hispanics and Native Americans voting for these damn heathens that don't give a damn about you? Right? Keep reading. One from among thy brethren shalt thou set king over thee. Thou mayest not set a stranger. A what? A stranger. Is Donald Trump? A stranger. Is Kamala Harris? A stranger. What is Joe Biden? A stranger. The Lord said, thou mayest not Say a stranger. Hey, since y'all got two minutes for words of God, all right, well, y'all got to repent. Y'all got to cover up and put some clothes on, sister. Right. The Lord said you got to have self-respect, sister. Right. right. The Lord said that you a princess on the earth, and you got to have self-respect. Right? You see that? See, if our people had wisdom, they wouldn't be out here like that. Right? Keep reading. She didn't like what you just said. Right. Can, can no, no, none of these women like that. <laughs> Thou... Mayest not set a stranger over thee. The Lord said, Thou mayest not set a stranger over thee. Who is a stranger? A stranger is these other nations that are not Israelites. Right? The stranger is the so called white man. The stranger is the so called Chinese, the Japanese, the Arabs. Right? 
Those are the strangers that the Lord told us not to set over us. Keep reading. That was it on that? Which is, which is not thy brother. Right. Which is not thy brother. Right? It's not a part of our custom to do that. You see that? So bring that out in the G, uh, GNT. Oh, the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 17, verse 15. Bring it GNT. out. Be sure that the man you choose to be king is the one whom the Lord have chosen. You see that? Is the one whom the Lord have chosen, right? And how you doing, sister? You got a minute for the words of God? Two minutes for the words of God? All right, sister, you got to repent, sister. You got to separate from your enemy, sister. Right. All right? The so-called white woman is your enemy. Right. Right? And our people got to know who their enemy is in these last days. Right? Now is not the time to be walking hand in hand with your old person. Right. You see that? Now is not the time to be walking with your damn enemy. Right? See, our people got to get out of that mind state. Because in these last days, you're going to be an easy target. Right? Can you read it? Huh. Be sure that the man you choose to be king is the one whom the Lord has chosen. Right? He must be one of your own people. He must be what? He must be one of your own people. That's why our people voting for these damn presidents. That's not of our own people. Right? You see that? So the Lord said, anybody that we set king over us has to be from a, among our own people. It has to be somebody that the Lord chooses. Right? You see that? And that's why our people have to come back to the ways of God because the ways of God gives us wisdom, knowledge, and understanding, right? But our people don't want these want this wisdom in these last days, right? Our people too focused on all this folly and foolishness that's going on out here in these streets, right? It's madness, right? So let me get uh, Lamentations 4 and 17, right? That was it on that? Do not make a foreigner your king. Do not make what? Do not make a foreigner your king. The Lord told us not to make a foreigner our king, right? Right? So our people had to stop voting for these damn heathens, right? They have no good intentions for our people, right? How many damn times we done went out here and voted? And what has that done for our people, right? Hey, bro, let me ask you a question. You voted, bro? Who you vote for? Cornell West. Who? 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 Who the hell is that? Hey, he's married to a white woman. I don't even know who the hell that is. <laughs> Man. Our people bugged out. You see that? Our people are bugged the hell out in these last days, man. Right. And that's why we got to come out here and wake our people up because our people just mentally destroyed. Right? But that was it on that. <laughs> Let me get that uh, Lamentations 4 and 17, right? And let me get Jeremiah chapter 17, verse 5. Bring that up. Yeah. What's he even running for? Who the hell is that? He's 71 years old. God damn, he finna drop this soon. That's, that's madness. Hey, <laughs> bring that out, man. That's crazy. The book of Lamentations, chapter 4, verse 17. Bring it out. As for us. As for who? As, as for, for us. As for us, right? Our people, the so called blacks. The Spanish and Native Americans, right? The Lord said, as for us, we, our eyes as yet failed for our vain help. Our eyes have failed for our vain help, right? Because the help that we seek it from these other nations is vain, right? Our people were so damn ignorant. If you ask a lot of our people that, that, was, uh, that voted for Kamala, they don't even know what, you know, laws that she was trying to uh, put in place. I asked a lot of people, are you who you voting for? Are we voting for Kamala? Why are you voting for her? I don't know. I just, I just, yeah, I just. She a, she a, she a black woman. What? So now we just voting for people because of their skin color, right? That's how ignorant and foolish our people have become in these times we living in. You don't know what the hell that what she was gonna do when she got in office, right? You see that? A lot of our people don't know that if Kamala got in office. Right? You was gonna have to spend your hard earned tax money, right? And that was gonna go into uh damn transgenders getting their sex change. Right. Did you see that? <laughs> and even Kamala Harris came out, she was like, no, right? I'm not just doing this for black people. Right, right. <laughs> right? She was like, I'm, I'm trying to put in, uh, laws in place to help everybody. I'm not just here for the black community, right? 
But our people so damn stupid, man. They don't know what's going on. Right? They just voting for somebody that, that they think is their own people. Right? And I, that's why our people have to wake up. Right? Keep reading. In our watching, in our what? In our watching, right. we have watched for a nation. Wait, what? For a nation uh, that could not save us. So we watched for a nation that could not save us. America is not going to save you, right? We didn't have uh, George Bush in office. We didn't have Barack Obama in office. Right. We didn't have Sleepy Joe Biden in office. And now we finna have Trump coming back in the office. And what have these presidents done for our community? Nothing. What have these presidents done for our people? Nothing. The last time I checked, when you look at the statistics, the so-called Blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans have always been the highest uh, rate of poverty. Right? They always had the highest rate of poverty, no matter who was in office. Right. So what are these presidents doing for our community? Our people still living in the ghetto. Our people still living in the projects. Our people still living in poverty. Right? So we just voting for these presidents uh, doing for our people. Right? Is voting for these presidents gonna stop the police from shooting you in your damn face? No. Nope. From putting a damn knee on your neck? No. Nope. How you doing since you got two minutes for the words of God system? You believe in God, sister? Yeah. Give us two minutes then. All right, sis, you got to repent, all right? Repent and keep the commandments. Right? A lot of our people claim that they believe in God, but they don't got two minutes for his words, though. Yeah. How does that make sense? I'm trying to find out how that makes sense. You believe in God, but you ain't got two minutes for his word, right? You know, a lot of our people, look, we was out here a few weeks ago, and we asked a lot of our people, if they had time for the words of God, they say, you know, yeah, I'm good. I'm going to go to church on Sunday. Right. I ain't got time for the word right now, but I'm going to go to church on Sunday. Right? Yeah. So you know why a lot of our people say that? You know what they really mean when they say that? A lot of our sisters, you know what they really mean? They say, you know what? I'm going to be at home Friday and Saturday night, right. but then I'm going to go to church on Sunday right. and I'm going to praise Jesus. You see that? A lot of our brothers, when they, when they say I'm going to go to church on Sunday, they say, yeah, I'm going to be a wicked ass nigga tonight. I'm going to try to uh, commit fornication and adultery tonight, but then I'm going to go to church on Sunday and I'm going to pray to Jesus and he's going to forgive me of my sins. That's a destroyed mind state, right? The Lord is not going to forgive you for your wickedness, right, if you was out here sinning willfully, right? A lot of our people out here committing all type of wickedness and they think that they're going to go to church on Sunday and pray to white Jesus and he's going to forgive them of their sins. Right. Right? That's a destroyed mind state, man. Right? And our people have to wake the hell up. Right? Because if you don't repent, and the Lord can put your ass to death tonight. Right. Right? And a lot of our people don't understand that. Right? So uh, that was it on that. All right. Time. All right, so you had, uh, you had a piece of no. All right, that piece Book of Matthew chapter 15, verse 7. Ye hypocrites. Ye what? Ye hypocrites. What about people? Ye hypocrites. Right. Well did Esaias prophesy of you, saying, huh? These people draw nigh unto me with their mouth. Hey, a lot of our people draw nigh unto the Lord with their mouth. Right? A lot of our people claim that they love God. Right? A lot of our people say that they love God, but they don't got time for it. You see that? They say, oh yeah, I love God, I believe in God. But you ask them if they got time, they ain't never got time for his word though. Right? right? She ain't trying to hear the word, cause I... All right, since you gotta repent, sister. All right? A lot of our people claim that they believe in God, but they ain't got time for his words though. Right? You see that? So the Lord said, these people draw nigh unto me with their mouth. We And honor me with their lips. Right? But their heart is far from me. But their what? But their heart is far from me. Hey, how y'all love you ladies doing tonight? Y'all believe in God? Yeah. Y'all got two minutes for his words? No. You see that? I mean, you can't make this up. Make it up. You can't make it up. Read that again. Read that again. Yeah, that's madness. You see that? Do you believe in God? Yeah, you got time for his word? No. Right? You see that? All right, sister. Y'all better repent. Hey, sister, you got to repent, sister, all right? If you love God, you will hear his words. Right. If you love God, you will be out here dressed like that. If you love God, you will have a modest appeal. Right. right? If you love God, you will have the white woman's hair in your head. Right. right? So repent and keep the commandments. Right? You see that? 
I told you that's the mentality of our people, right? Do you love God? Yeah, yeah, we love God. You got time for his word? Oh, no, nah, hell no. Nah. Not right now. Right. I'm out here to be a whore tonight. Right? I'm out here with my victim just tonight. Right? You see that? But I'm going to go to church on Sunday. I'm going to pray to white Jesus. He's going to forgive me. No, it don't work like that. Right? The Lord can destroy you tonight. Right. The Lord can put your ass to death tonight. So you need to stop praying and come back and repent and keep these commandments. Keep reading. Ye hypocrites, uh -huh. well did Esaias prophesy of you saying, right. these people draw up nigh unto me with their mouth. You see that? They draw, they, hey, that literally just happened, right? They literally was drawing nigh unto the Lord with their mouth. Right. Right? Right, so they said, they said that they had time for God, right? I said, y'all love God? They was like, yeah. I was like, you got time to hear his word? No, we ain't got time for that. You know how evil and wicked that is? You know the Lord was watching that? The Lord literally saw that. He like, what the hell is that? So you let me, but you ain't got time for my word. Right. I said two minutes. They ain't got two minutes. But they got time to go into the club tonight, though. Get drunk. You see that? That's. I mean, that is madness. And, hey, that's beautiful that the Lord had that manifest, though. Right. Because, I mean, you can't make this up. That's how you know the Lord talking about our people. Right? So that was on that. You got some more. These people draw up nigh unto me with their mouth and honor me with their lips, but their heart is far from me. Right. But in vain do they worship me. But in what? But in vain do they worship me. So they worship God in vain, right? Because they want to serve God one day out of the week. Right. But we, the true service of the Lord, we serve God every day. Right. right? We keep his commandments every day. We strive for perfection every day. Right? But our people, they don't want to do that. Oh, I'm going to go to church on Sunday. Right? I'm going to go to church on Sunday and I'm going to praise Jesus. Right? But Saturday and Friday night, I'm going to come out here and I'm going to be wicked as hell. Right? You see that? So keep reading. But in vain do they worship me, teaching for the doctrines and the commandments of men. And the what? The commandments of men. And the commandments of men. Right? You see that? Right? Because the commandments of men teach you that you don't have to keep God's commandments, right? And that's what uh, Creflo Dollar and T.D. Jakes teach. Right. Or you ain't even got to keep the Ten Commandments. That's why our people are in a destroyed mind state, right? Because our people think that they can be homosexuals and God will forgive them if they don't repent. Our women think that they can come out here and be whores and they can go to church on Sunday and pray to Jesus and he just going to forgive them. Man. Right. You see that? Right? So go back to where I had you at, all right? And then bring out your precept. The book of Proverbs, chapter 13 and verse 13. Bring it out. Whoso despises the word. What? Whoso despises Despise the, the word. word. They despise the word. Because if they didn't, they would have time to listen to the scriptures, right? But they don't got time for that. They got time to party. They got time to turn up. They got time to come out here and get drunk. But they don't got time to listen to the words of the Lord. Bring it out. You see that? Right? So keep reading. Whoso despises the word shall be destroyed. Shall be destroyed. Hey, Lord willing, those sisters repent. And Lord willing, they come back. And, you know, they hearken to the words of the Lord. Because if they don't, they're going to be destroyed.